Hello and welcome to a quest tutorial for the Engine 001 Game Creator. So in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make your own quest. Pretty easy quest and from this easy quest you're going to basically learn how to make all quests for whatever you want. So I'm going to just go ahead and start off with the basic map. I'm not going to bother with the decoration on it. I'm just going to put an actor. It's going to be a normal NPC. You can also use the collection quest um, NPC for a um, for what I'm going to do today. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to script your own without anything as a template. So I'm just going to make I'm just going to use a male template for the character, and I'm going to make him walk round in circles because why not? Okay. Right, so that's him walking around in circles. Yep, okay, you got it. Good. Do the same. I don't care. Whatever. Waha. So, okay. So, yeah. Shut up. Right, um. Let's have a look. What can we, what, what, what can we do? Okay, I know what we'll do. NPC. Okay, so triggers, we're going to add a script and it's going to say talk to slash activate it. And then for this, we're going to want a once branch. And the first time we talk to him, it's going to say no, sorry, no. No, 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 no. Delete the once branch. First time we talk to him, it's going to say, hey, I could do with some help. If you are kind enough, tee hee. No, no, tee hee. Tee hee. Tee hee. Um, okay, so if you're kind enough, there is a reward in it for you. So I'll show you how to add an award. At the reward, even not an award, a reward at the end of it. Okay, so for this, we're going to need quite a few variables, but we'll set the variables up when we need to. So that's that. So you've got two options you've got the yes option and you've got the no option. After no, it's just going to end the script and you're going to go away from him. If you click yes, it's going to do a once branch that's going to say thank you so much quest uh, where it says that you're going to explain the quest in it basically I, I just can't be bothered writing all the quest log out so after you've said yes you've pretty much you've started the quest and um, that's that's what that is so um, okay so we've got that we've got the quest started then and uh, this is a, we, can we rename I don't think we can actually it'd be good if we could oh I think we can add a comment so this is start quest ah there we go yeah so once branch start quest. That's good. Right. So you've got a lot. You've got the message box and that's that. Okay, okay. So breather. Okay, so. Um we've got all that. Okay. Every other time. Um after it's started it's gonna say Oh, we need to check for a variable, so we need to set up the variable first. This variable is going to be called quite a few times, I think. It might not be, it might just be called once, twice, a third, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Don't know. Right. Quest done. Quest underscore done. Underscore one. Uh, you put the underscore one if you've got multiple quests, which you will have. If it's a good game. No, not judging. No judge. Whatever. Um, okay, so. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go, 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 okay, okay. Okay, so the default of that is going to be zero, and then 
basically we're going to check here so it's going to be ver variable comparison branch you're going to click the little square you're going to go to global variables and you're going to go to question and you're going to check if it's equal to one one and if it is equal to one we'll do the code we'll do the scripting later but if it's not equal to one we're gonna do message and it's gonna say you haven't acquired no that's not how you spell acquired how do you spell acquired cuz I'm an idiot Acqui oh, right, okay acquired it Sad face. Obviously, you want to put a sad face because it's a bit unprofessional, but. No! Nah! Whatever. Okay, so. You've done a lot. It is all fun and stuff. So, you got a lot, and we're going to do that later, and we've got this. Thank you so much, Quest. Um, we can add a variable option. I'm just going to go to Edit Global, just so I can get the quicker. I'm going to add this as. Quest started. Quest finished. Um, okay, so we're going to see if quest started. Oh, we're going to set quest started even. Um, quest started. We're going to set it to 1. Which then actually we should we should check. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that once branch, we're gonna clean up the code a little bit and we're gonna make it a little bit better. So on the start branch we're gonna check if the variable quest started is equal to uh, one. If it is equal to one, which is here it's going to go ahead and say that, um, that you haven't acquired. Can we do this? Can we? Oh, and if it's not equal to 1, then we're going to say thank you so much. And it's also going to go on to this. So this will then do that, which will then set it to 1. So if you talk to him again, it's going to say you haven't acquired it yet. So, can we just check if that has worked? Whoa, that was a bit weird. Oh, go away. I really do need to sort everything up. Out, up, up, out, up, out. Um, play. Windows. Thank God it worked then. I would have felt like an idiot if it didn't. Okay, so, we got, we got the guy walking around. It's me. Ha ha. We're not stopping. Hey, I could do with some help if you can enough. There is a reward in it. There is a reward in it for you. No. Talk to him again. Hey, I could do with some. So it does. It does it multiple times until you say yes. Thank you so much, Quest. And then when you talk to him again, you haven't acquired it yet. You haven't acquired it yet. You haven't acquired it. Nah, not acquired it. <sighs> okay, so we've got that. We've got all that. That's all working. That's good. It's all working. Okie doke. So, we got all that. Awesome. Right. Break. Okie doke. So. Um. Da -da 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 actor. So, it's all working. It's all working. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. What do we want? What do we want? We want something. What do we want? We want to edit in. Come back. Edit script. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just got shivered. Well, shivered? Got shivered. Oh, stopped. Do you know what shift is? No, you do. Ah. Um, okay. Calm down. <laughs> That's annoying me. Stop. 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 Screw it. Okay, doke. So, we've got quest started equal to one. If it is equal to one, then it's going to say that you've not acquired it. Or if it, if you have acquired it, then yes. And that is it, I think. I think we're done with that. Yeah, we're done with that. So if it's done, if it is equal to one, then that means we're going to say, Yay! 
You found it. Here. Oops. Take these coins. It's all I have, I'm afraid. Sad face. And then you're gonna get the option to take it, take gift, or leave gift. So if you take the gift, then it's gonna say it's gonna say nothing but if you don't take it then he's gonna say thank you thank you so much for getting me this Um, we need to set a code. The scripting will be all right now. If I say code, I mean scripting. Um, right. So it's gonna say, "Yeah, you found it," and then it's gonna say, "Thank you so much for getting it this back for me." Um, if you don't take the gift, then you're gonna get more XP, experience. And we're gonna add it to the main character, and it's gonna give you a hundred, no, a hundred XP if you um, but you don't get any money. And if you choose to take the gift, then you're gonna get a hundred and fifty gold. Want to add it, not set it. And you're also gonna get. This might not be the right script actually, and you're only going to get 50 experience the main character. That might not be the may, the right, correct script, so um, if it's not, then try and try and find it. You might have to use variables for leveling up though, because it's a bit funny on this engine, the leveling up system. Um, mm, truffle cakes are so nice. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. So that's that. We're going to get the item now. And the item is going to be in a big treasure chest. And it's going to be... A winged helmet. We've got one. Two. Then you're going to find ten dollars in there. Oh, experience. And you're going to find 20, 20 experience in there. There we go. Oops. Oh, that looks a little bit weird, but oh well. It's okay. That's that. Okay, so once 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 you've got it, we're gonna get a timer. And it's gonna it's gonna go every one second. Every 0.5 seconds. Okay, so every every 0.50 seconds, it's gonna it's gonna um, run the it's gonna run the script of checking oh, what's it called? It's called item 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 held. Checks to see if the actor is the set quantity of an item. Depending if it's equal, okay. I'll do. So if the character has, it's going to check if the character has the winged helmet, and the minimum quantity is going to be one, and include equipment. I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's just equipment because it says include equipment. Okay. Hmm. So, you've got player as item, wing helmet, minimum quantity one, include equipment. Yes. 
So, if the player... How many times have I said so? Well, there's another one. Okay. Player has one winged helmet. If he does have a winged helmet, then it's going to say... Mm, I should... Should... Take... This... Back... To... The man... I should take this back to the man. Man. The man, man. The man, man. Okay, look. So we got all that now. That's all set. That's everything done, I think. Um, if he doesn't have a winged helmet, then it doesn't really matter. We don't want it to say anything, otherwise, every 0.5 seconds it's going to come up with a message saying, Oh, this, oh, that, oh, this, oh, that. Okay, look. So, that should be. Done. No, it's not done. It's not done. It's not done. We need to go back into this time and we need to edit the timer tech. And we're going to check if it's been. Okay, doc. Um, we're going to need to edit the other script in a minute because I've done something a little bit wrong. Um, set this back to the man. And after he said that, he's going to set the variable option of quest finished to 1. Um, what's that quest done? Have I used that in here? Quest started. Quest done. Okay, so quest done. After the quest done, we're going to check if quest finished is set to 1. And if it is... Then it's then going to show that, and if it's not, then it's going to show that. In fact, we don't even need to put that, because that might confuse it a little bit. Because no matter what, it's not going to get past that. Because they're both going to be set to 1 by the time anything does any. Oh. No, 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 no. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I have. I've done it right. I've done it right. First time was right. Get Forget everything. Uh, the timer needs to be setting quest done to 1 instead of finished. So quest done done. Done done done. Done. Right. Okay doke then. So we're gonna play. And I wish that wouldn't come up. It's a little bit annoying, but you know, anyway. Well. And if we test this out. Talk to him. There we go. Yes, thank you so much quest, so that's now started the quest, if we go over here. Ah, we need to hand out a bodash, bodash. We need to go back into the timer and set it to a once branch. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, okay, so if the player does have one winged helmet, we're going to start a once branch. It's only going to do it once. Every other time it's going to do nothing, otherwise it'll start doing that again. So, um, oh, we need to get the quest. Boom. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. So that's the quest set as well. Yay! You found it. Here, take these coins. It's all I have, I'm afraid. So if you take the gift, you've then got 160... Well, yeah, 1,160 coins. Um, yeah, you found it. If you leave the gift, then you're going to get 100 XP. And the XP should be... I don't, I don't know what the XP is. Um, but, nonetheless, that's a quest. Um, we've got a problem because I can just talk to him to stop that problem. You just need to add another once branch into, into here. So after the quest done has been 
equal to one. We're then gonna set a one. We're gonna then run a once branch. Um, if you really wanted to, you could have another thing saying thanks again for your help. Thanks again for your help. Um, so after that, we're pretty much the quest started is still gonna do that. So we need to set it to zero. So at the end of both of these, we're gonna wanna do variable option quest started set to zero and then connect that one up as well so now when we talk to him I can do this so now when we talk to him he's gonna say that uh, then he's gonna say that I see why it's gonna say that. Okay, so it's okay. It's okay, it's all okay. Um, edit script. It's gonna restart the cycle again. Why is it doing that? If it is equal to one, then it's gonna run that. If it's not equal to one, then it's gonna run that. Um. Ah, okay. We can do this. We can do it. I know how to do it. I've got. I've got another idea. Um, it's not equal to one. We're running out of time. We've really. Oh, we've gone over time. Okay, it's twenty one better. <laughs> so, if we have a comparison branch of um, the other one, the the quest finished, and check to see if it's equal to one. And if it's not equal to one, then we want to do that one. If it is equal to one, then we want to say that. Thanks again for your help. Oh, no, we're still not done. We need that. We need to set it so the quest finished goes to one. After you do one of these. Now we run we run okay so yeah you found it and then we're gonna go ahead and do take gift and then we're gonna I get back oh, you stupid you little oh. ah. ah talk to me okay so he doesn't talk to us after that but either way we've got all this stuff it's all working um so that's that um shout out to dark Vico's gaming for requesting this tutorial and if you want your name to be shouted out go ahead leave a request leave a comment subscribe whatever i'm sure to know and shout out whatever you know and um yeah thank you for watching I can't find my end game!